I could uh, I could basically sum this up with one sentence. We got it handed to us tonight, plain and simple. You tip your hat to the other club. They beat us in every way there was to be beaten. I would say that we are not out of it. We certainly didn't help the situation, but it's one game. It's not six games. It wasn't what we were faced with four weeks ago when we won a few. We were beaten tonight by a team that outplayed us. And you have to tip your hat to them. It happens 30-something percent of the time in the big leagues. We did not play poorly. They played better. They deserved to win. We have to be able to throw this one away and be ready to go tomorrow. But in no way will I say anything differently than the fact that they beat our butts, plain and simple. I mean, you, you coached Mike Bell, you coached with Mike Bell. Just how, were you impressed just with what his pitchers were able to do kind of in year one where you know he wasn't going to somewhere with a lot of talent? I was very impressed with everything that they did. They made one error, I believe, or we made one error. Was that what it was? We made an error. They did not make an error. They play on artificial turf. You come onto a normal field like this and play airless ball, that's pretty doggone impressive. But you got to look at Derek West. He, 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 was, he, he was beautiful. He, he was absolutely beautiful. Threw an up fastball, threw his change up down, threw the uh, fastball to location, kept us off balance for five innings. We had a chance to do something to him with the bases loaded and nobody out in our fourth and fifth hitter at the plate. He literally made us – well, he showed, he showed what he's all about. The overall use of this team, is that why you'll take sort of an approach of it's just one game, let's, let's not make too big of a deal out of it, whereas I mean, this was a game that you guys really couldn't afford to lose, I guess, with the RPI and all that sort of factors uh, around the game. Our guys realized that tonight was not a step in the right direction. We can't minimize the importance of this loss. But we can't go out and say we're now in jeopardy of not going to a regional. We haven't even clinched, if I'm not mistaken, we haven't clinched a spot in the ACC tournament. We have. That's good news. It's one of those... Is it more disappointing or frustrating that, you know... There was a lot of frustrating moments. A lot of frustrating moments. I mean, from things that, that we did to things we didn't do to guys not being aware of where, what's going on in the game to just... I don't know, it's the last day of final exams. That's all I got to say. I, I'm not making any excuses for them. And... We got to play better tomorrow. Is Elijah available tomorrow? Uh, yeah, yeah, he's he's available. Is it a health thing or performance? Or it's it's just a coach's decision. Well, Dwyer Weaver is he an option for you guys at all? If things in the middle. Uh, absolutely. Of absolutely, Weaver's a good-looking player. I don't know how much you were kind of able to catch up with Coach Bell. How good was it to see him again? It was it was a real joy. Got a chance to see his son. I know that uh, Alexis is now 14 years old. It, it it was very meaningful to be able to 
to talk to him today, and it was so nice of him to give me that outline of the is it PNC. It was really neat. I haven't had a chance to really go stare at it. I think it'll be prettier tomorrow. <laughs> See y'all tomorrow.